All right, we're gonna turn the page from politics to culture with a legend, especially in this city. While we know that elections do have consequences, the shaping of culture radically impacts our politics. Our next guest has come from a family of world changers. Uh, she's truly someone that when you stand in her presence, you sense the gravity of her last name, King. We have with us today Dr. Alveda King of the Martin Luther King Jr. family. She's joining us today. She's a pro-life hero who has raised our conversation to different levels than it would be without her. She fights for civil rights for the pre-born. Please help me in welcoming Dr. Alveda King. a little bit of that. I'm 73 now. It's y'all's turn. And that's what y'all are supposed to be doing and you are doing. Uh, Kristen, I need 30 seconds and nobody will understand this unless you knew Dean Nelson personally and knew of him. If you did not know Bishop Dean Nelson, look him up. Hey, Dean, man, you can't believe what's happening here. Yes, I can, Alvita. I'm in a high place. Dean is wonderful. It's marvelous. Dean passed away and he was one of my chief advisors and Kristen Hawkins and all of us, and we do miss Dean, and it just wouldn't be right if I did not mention him. Now, I am Alveda King, niece of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. I've been a friend of Students for Life. It feels like forever, really. It's been a long time. Now, can a nation be born in a day? That's in the Bible, absolutely. There's nothing new in, under the sun, but every generation is new. Every decade is new, and we have many new platforms today. As Students for Life and friends and parents and community, I, I want to tell a little granny story. Can I do that? Is that okay? I met a little grandma recently, and she was crying because I was talking to an audience like you, 
and I explained something. I said, when Jesus got on the cross and he died and said, it's finished and rose again, he said, occupy till I come. I do my kingdom business until I come. And I have given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions. So we're not trying to beat the devil. That's been done. We're occupying. If you don't occupy your space... If you don't vote, if you don't ask the people that you vote for to do something be way beyond passing bills and legislation, then it, we have to start all over again. So here's the little granny story. And she was just crying, my grandchildren won't talk to me anymore. I've tried to tell them TikTok is evil, and it is, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> they won't talk to me. They don't want to come to my house. And I said, OK. So I got a call a couple of years ago uh, my five-year-old granddaughter, and she's, I think she's about eight, turning eight now, but she did something really interesting called twerking on TikTok. Everybody say, oh, say that, oh. <laughs> so they said, beat her. Take her device away from her right now. And I thought about it. And I said, if I take her device away, she won't come up to my house anymore. If I beat her, she won't understand why I'm beating her. So her older sister was hanging around. I said, hey, get on, get on TikTok right now. They say, TikTok, what's that? I said, you know what that is. You sneak and get on it all the time. So anyway, they put me on TikTok. And I said, praise the Lord. Psalms 103, 23, 91, John 3, 16, every scripture I could think. And then I said, hallelujah, praise the Lord. So it went on TikTok, right? All of their friends, are you crazy? Your grandma's on TikTok. She's too old to be on TikTok. I didn't even know how to get on TikTok at the moment. And then I said, TikTok is back. Tell them they're crazy too and they're too young to be on TikTok. What are we going to do? So don't be afraid of AI. Don't be afraid of social media. Don't be afraid because Students for Life has some toolkits and all that. And, and, you know, I work with a lot of groups. AFPI, America First Policy Institute, Priests for Life, many of them. And so we're not supposed to fight with each other and compete against each other. That's the world. And, and people hate it when I say this, but you better listen to me. When we all get to heaven, nobody's going to get a trophy because everybody will hit the goal. Everybody will because we'll all be that equal. So compete, be good, but don't be angry. And don't be mean. Be kind. I said to Kristen years ago, Martin Luther King Jr. said, the Negro cannot win if he's willing to sacrifice the futures of his children for immediate personal comfort and safety. I said many things, injustice any, where's a threat to justice everywhere. Now this is mine. When peripherals collide, convergence is imminent. On the good side, that's great. On the bad side, we have to overcome evil with good. Now, I'm gonna take just a few more seconds in a minute because it wouldn't be right if I didn't ask y'all to sing with me this little light of mine. But before I get there, keep multiplying. We need more and more and more of you. There's one blood and one human race. Stop all that, I'm colorblind. Well, good Lord, Jesus gave sight to the blind. You better open your eyes. <laughs> really, go, go to the doctor or something, I don't know. But, and we are not mixed, we are blended. Martin Luther King Jr. said, we may have come over on different ships, but we all in the same boat now. Is that true? Okay, I'm almost out of time. That's right, that's right. Okay, sing this with me. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light, you light, put your phone lights on. I'm gonna let it shine. Put your phone lights. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Last verse and I'm gone. If your light won't shine, I'll share some of mine. Oh, if your light won't shine, I'll share some of mine. This, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine.